put it in reverse. All right, we're in reverse. Neutral. Drive. Wow, awesome, everything's working, no lights. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for coming today. This is my 2002 Saab 93 convertible. If you're new to the channel, I rebuilt this car about four years ago now, 30,000 miles. It's been a really great car, hasn't left us stranded. However, there are some quirks and features of the Saab that if you're a Saab owner, you know about. Uh, one of them on this car is a common failure, and that is the shift sensor. This car for the last four years, 30,000 miles, has on and off given us a warning that the shift sensor is no good, which throws it into limp mode, and then of course throws the engine light and transmission light on, and of course my wife, who drives this car, always calls me as it's doing, oh, it feels like it's gonna stop, blah, 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 even though you just turn the car off, turn it back on, and it goes, and it resets the whole system. But finally, finally, we're going to fix the problem, and I've done some reading online, and of course a lot of people complaining on the convertible that the battery tray is welded in place it doesn't come out so it's a pain in the butt but i think we know i think i know what i need to do to make this easy so i'm going to show you what i do to hopefully cut this into a, a one hour long project the engine light that's thrown for this code so you know if this is your sob that you're going to work on is p0705 i'll have it in the title i'll have it in the description so you know that this is the proper fix for you. Stay tuned. All right, so obviously I drove the car here, so the engine's hot, as you see I have a fan on it. So while everything's cooling off on the engine before I dip my hands in there, I'm gonna just remove the battery and all, this, all these components up here that are in the way. So let's do it. All right, so 13 millimeter bolts take out the battery that I did first, and then obviously that little plastic tray is 13 millimeter. Then down on the bottom here, this tray here has got 10 millimeter bolts here, one and two, that we'll remove and um, hopefully get that out of the way. So just so everybody can see what's going on, right here is the transmission. Right here is the transmission. And right here, this black piece that you see right there, where my finger is, that is the plug that goes to here, which is the sensor. So that... Let me make that easier for you to see. See this piece? This is the new shift sensor. You see that rubber boot right here? Down here is the transmission, and right here, right there where my finger is, is that same black boot, which is on the new one here. So that's where the shift sensor is, and you can see how this works. It's very tight in there, but we'll make it, we'll make do, we'll make do. I'm not worried about it. I'm just wondering if I should move the power steering fluid rack out of the way, which might be a good idea. And uh, yeah, let's do it. FYI, the power steering cool reservoir is held on by a 10 millimeter bolt. So we're just gonna undo that and pull the whole thing out of the way. All right, so before we continue to pull on wires, right here where my finger is, there's a zip tie holding all the harnesses together, so we're just gonna snip that to kind of free up this harness that we just unplugged, which is for the switch. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is if you can see, it's hard to see with the light and where the tray is. I can see why everybody's complaining about it. You see this 
this bolt right here. You see that bolt right there? That is a 13 millimeter, it looks like, bolt, which is holding the actual shift lever in place on the sensor. So we're gonna first remove that and gently pull up the shifter so we don't break anything. And that should free, that should now disconnect everything from the inside of the car from the shifter to the actual shift sensor. And then from there we can go ahead and remove the two bolts on the side that hold the rest of it in place. That bolt holding that sensor, the shifter in place. All right, so now we've freed up we've freed up the actual shift mechanism that goes to the shifter. And the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the dipstick bolt, which is on the left. And then there's another one, which is even harder to get to. Right, right over here, it seems. All right, so we got the center nut off. The last thing we do on the left side where the dipstick was is one last 17 millimeter nut. So we'll release that and the whole thing will come loose now. So just remember on the left side where the dipstick is, it's 13 millimeters to remove the dipstick and then underneath that is a 17 millimeter, just like on the right side. And actually to stand corrected, it's a, it looks like this, just so you know, enough for the 13 and to screw it in. All right, so I, so I pulled a classic Saab problem. I broke one of the uh, vacuum lines, but as you can see on this side, I've already epoxied it. So I did the same thing on that side. But anyways, be careful when you're doing this job. Next up, the last thing I'm gonna remove is this bolt here that's on the unit. I'm just gonna show you here because it's hard to show you there. They have three uh, prongs like this. Just bend them back a little bit so this can move freely like so. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall this. And since I did not put it out of park earlier, I made sure to put this in the same position as the old one, which is in the park position, which if you're looking at it, this direction is clock is turned clockwise. Buttoned up here, batteries back and hooked up. Put the uh, glued vacuum line back on there. Reconnected everything. Secured power steering line. It wasn't actually the high pressure line wasn't even secured. I don't know why. That wasn't me. It must have been somebody else. Anyways, we're gonna start her up. See what happens. Turn it off and we got power. That means the sensor is in, in there properly. Let's take her for a spin.
car is running good. Pretty happy, guys. Pretty happy. Um, I want to thank you for watching this channel. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please hit the like button, share button, and of course, subscribe to the channel. A lot of cool things underway, a lot of cool things planned, so I'd love to have you part of that. And of course, appreciate your support, because the more people that follow, um, the more I can do for you. Um, thanks again. See you later.